we lose every creative energy, you know, when, when, when we have to do the same thing. Who do you work with? I mean, script-wise and comic-wise? Uh, yeah, well, we, um, we got to uh, know uh, Romano Molinar, uh, which uh, was at that, uh, in the past an art director for um, a video game called The Chronicles of Spellborn. But he was also um, making comics. He worked for uh, yeah, Marvel and, and Top Cows and some really famous American uh, comic companies. Uh, like he did comics like The X-Men and The Darkness and for the Dutch people Storm, uh, which is a quite famous comic uh, in, in Holland. Um, and uh, so we talked about it and uh, he immediately loved the idea very much you know, to do uh, to make a comic, especially for, uh, for, for an album. And um, so we started with that, and, and he also knew somebody, because we didn't want to write the story um, for the comic ourselves, because you know, we, we were, at least we like to make lyrics, but, but uh, writing a real story is uh, something else. So he brought us into contact with Stephen O'Connell, <coughs> which is a, a writer, and, uh, and he, uh, he had a basic idea which appealed a lot to us which was not a story yet, just a rough idea. And, uh, um, but now we, we gave him some, some input about things which we found important uh, to incorporate in a story. And, uh, which were for you? Well, that, that's, that's things like um, depth in characters, you know, that you know more about the past of characters, how they, why they uh, be become, uh, have become who they are. And, uh, but also religious uh, aspects, uh, some subnatural elements. Uh, those are always things which uh, fascinate us to, to write Social about. Social problems, more realistic things also. Yeah, and also that, you know, that, that bad is not always bad and that good is not always good. So, no. so that, that there's exactly. uh, skills of grey in there, shades of grey in there. So those things were important for us. And, uh, and also even uh, the directors we approached to make uh, three short films. Um, about the, the story, they also came up with, with some good ideas. And um, so it's, it's really uh, due to the fact that everybody uh, was really enthusiastic about this idea that uh, it became such a, yeah, such a good story in the end. Was it for you? Because what you were saying in the last album, you really found your sound. Um, I can imagine that sometimes bands choose to, well, we have this sound, now we're gonna, well, make albums within this sound because we like this. Was it for you? Um, hard to uh, well to 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 uh, let more musical uh, influences that in or well it was a new way of working of course in a way but yeah, I I it was very necessary for, yeah. for us it's, it's we lose every f creative energy you know when 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 we have to do the same thing and uh, the, the, it, it, even if we would want to do so it, it would not work because what is you the most far out song if you well she compared yeah. <laughs> Why? Well, it's because it's um, it's almost a f uh, it's a very feel good song. And, uh, well, um, and although you know we had that uh, sometimes also in the past, but not that many. But also because of the beat and also the the, the, the rhythm of the song, it's it's just a total different thing that we've ever done before. But still very much an invitation. If you have to pinpoint maybe the music, like you were saying, well maybe it's some it has to do with. Some other style? I don't know. Maybe you can. Uh, well, the, it has more several. Di well, it has some it's a bit d dance. Dancey in the beat, yeah, but yeah, uh, yeah. But still with heavy guitar, so we still make a. <laughs> it's kind of a weird mix. Of yeah, things, yeah, of things. Yes. Was it the last song that you wrote for this album? Uh, no, it wasn't. I think a Demon's Fate was the last song we wrote. Yeah, which yeah. is more of a metal song. Yeah, so. exactly. So it's not like, well, we, we started the album, like you were saying, <laughs> well, the, 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 the first song you wrote was... Uh, Sh uh, Shut It in the Dark. Shut It in the Dark, you said that's more similar to a yeah, previous yeah, where, album. Where's yeah, the edge? Yeah, where's the edge? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Now there was not a clear line in, in, in why, what song came, and I think that that's also what's typical about this album. We, we just went with, with what came with.